Uh, a few questions popped up after the, uh, we discussed recertification versus initial certification. So I want to circle back and clarify a couple items there. One on the regard to the prereqs, such as um, some of the requirements embedded in the prereqs, like conducting the ASHRAE Level 1 audit, uh, taking the ASHRAE 62.1 outside air calculations. We had a question, how often do those need to be completed? Is it every three years? So those will need to be completed at initial certification, and they won't be required to be completed again. So not the recertification, just the one time the building is certified for the first time. Um, going on with recertification, um, so several folks have asked about transitioning from V4 to V4.1, and, and we did switch from a five-year recertification cycle under V4, and that remains, to a three-year recertification cycle in V4.1. So if you have a project, and some may still be submitting under 2009 or V4, um, the, the traditional EB, way is what I like to call it, those will still have their five-year recertification period or certification period. At the end of those five years, then to remain certified, those projects can either recertify under V4, the traditional way, and maintain a five-year cycle or transition with this performance score under V4.1 and start in on a three-year cycle. 